Hi everyone, my video today is about hatchery design and construction. Fish hatchery is a complex system. It includes a long range of activity ranging from the selection, collection and manipulation of broodstock, and the production of live feed up to the production and harvest of larvae in the shortest time possible. Water filter is one of the most important equipment in the hatchery. In this figure, mechanical filtration has been used for the separation of solids and liquids. A mechanical filter is a filter which is set into the water flow to collect the particles and larger objects and allow water to pass through. The most effective procedure for disinfecting bacteria from the water is ultraviolet water purification. By targeting their genetic center, DNA, ultraviolet UV, risk penetrate harmful pathogen in your hatchery and kill disease causing micro microorganism. In preventing their ability to replicate, this is extremely successful. It's exceptionally easy, efficient and environmentally friendly to de-inspect your water with ultraviolet light. Brook fish tank is one of the most important equipment in hatchery. Adult fish have been placed in this tank to do their spawning seasons. Electricity is the most important thing for a hatchery. A plenty of problems will happen without it and it will affect the growth of the fish. In a certain situation, there will be an unexpected problem like blackout. In this case, backup plan that we can do is using the generator. Generator can supply electricity that we need in order to fix the electricity blackout things. As a general rule, it will be best to locate hatcheries inside that could be easily connected to the electricity network. Tank and harvest equipment This is important to make sure the activities of handling things in a hatchery move smoothly. Circular and rectangular tanks are the most used in a fish hatchery. We also have to take a look about the tank size that we use. Large tanks will reduce the cumulative feed cost of tank flow and level control structures fish feeders. For example, round tanks also have small amounts of corner for oxygen deficits. Harvesting equipment such as scoop net, sin net and bucket must be clean before we use it. The basic reason for aeration is the decrease of the substance which cause horrendous taste and smells. Aeration is often utilized for treatment of groundwater. Treating surface water aeration is valuable in adding oxygen to the crude water. Aeration consistently goes before some other treatment measure. Aeration of water usually requires an interruption of the gravity flow of water through a treatment plant. This means the downstream from the aeration, the water must be lifted once more. Exceptions may be possible in case of gravity flow with significant differences in altitude such as on hills or mountains. Cleanliness is a significant factor that plays a heavy role in hatchery. This is because the larval and juvenile stage fish can be affected by diseases easily. That will also prevent the age from hatch thus the health of the worker. There, the inspection of equipment has already been mentioned in the biosecurity SOP of the hatchery. Therefore, as a worker, it is a must to follow the rule and disinfect all of the equipment before and after using them to ensure the equipment to be clean and safe to be used. Aquaculture hatchery temperature is usually high because it affected some species survival and growth as for freshwater prawn culture as they need higher temperature to ensure their eggs and fingerlings to survive living in a hatchery. 
This is because during rain method, the effect of water temperature on number of moths, survival rates, and growth rates of fresh water prawn need to be evaluated in laboratory, and the results show that survival rate was highest at warmer temperature. So, I think that's all from me. Thank you. Thank you.